Happy 4th of July. Fuck. Well, it, it was 4th of July when I recorded this. Can I beat Borderlands 2 using only the Skyrocket? Maybe. Unfortunately, it's only going to be the 4th of July for like 6 or 7 hours, so I don't have time to make a level 1 character and try to beat the game. So I started my adventure by making a boosted Krieg. You might be thinking, why didn't you pick Axton? He has skills that increase grenade damage, he can throw grenades and fight for your life- No. Krieg. All I have to do is make it through Hero's Pass and kill the warrior. Here are the rules. The only way I can damage enemies is with the Skyrocket. I can have other items equipped, but I can't use them to deal damage. The first thing I did was travel to Assault on Dragon's Keep. The biggest problem with killing the warrior using the Skyrocket is... Well, everything. The warrior resists fire and does big murder, and the DLC will solve both of these problems. If I can get a spell grenade, it'll regenerate my grenade ammo, and the grog nozzle will heal me for 65% of all damage I deal with my pocket rockets. Oh, well this is a problem. Legendary. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Alright, I'm open to suggestions at this point, guys. Okay, hear me out. They aren't red dots. These guys are not red dots on the minimap. Therefore, this is fine. It was just a friendly little bar scrap. I made my way through the DLC by running away from enemies and occasionally calling in airstrikes to stop them from bothering me. It worked surprisingly well when my tactical nukes didn't backfire, but the enemies can't kill you if you kill yourself first. Ooh, okay guys, is blood explosion allowed? Blood explosion seems pretty American. You got me there. Anything that explodes should be allowed on this day about blowing shit up. Why are they resistant to fire? Bones don't burn easily. Okay, yeah, you got me there. I met Frau, but he was immediately attacked by three dragons. Hitting flying, moving, fire-resistant enemies with a skyrocket was about as easy as you'd expect. Uh, not easy, but I managed to solve it the American way. Keep bombing them until they stop giving you problems. To get into the mines, I'll have to kill the four Ghost Kings. Slight problem, they resist fire. But despite that, I went in with confidence. Oh shit, oh man, the four kings are gonna be absolutely fucked, aren't they? Am I even gonna be able to do that? Warrior resists fire? That's why I'm here, man. The warrior might resist fire, but it doesn't resist the American spirit. Please hit. Okay. Oh no, they resist fire! Why? Why, why, Tina? Why would you do this to America? Fuck it, I'll die. I, I don't give a shit. Can I pull this sword out while in fight for your life? No. Okay, so I threw 10 grenades at him. They made a bones. You got me there. That It makes sense. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not happy about it. Well, fuck this. I'm gonna go somewhere else and level up. Fight fire with fire. It's the American way. Main story is on level. Yeah, but everything there resists fire. Then just use more fire. You got me there, yeah. Alright, yeah, actually, let's go to Heroes Pass. Oh, hot loaders, that'll be... It... Okay, yep, no, that... Oh god, no, please! Please, leave me alone! I'm fine. Wasn't even scared. Oh, these war loaders. There's no way they go down in one, right? Nope, they go down in one. That... Oh, this guy's gonna be an issue. I'm too good at the game. I'm too good in the game. Oh no. That's not... That's dissatisfactory. Oh, I'm out of grenades. And the turrets are dead. Maybe there be grenade here. Oh, grenade mod. Perfect. Wait, what the fuck? Where is where is it? What? Hold on. Guys, am I am I losing my mind? What the fuck is go where what? Let's see if I can just blast this thing. Guys, what the fuck is going underground? Oh, did it clip into the fucking ground? 
look more up. Wait, it's it's gone. Okay. Okay. Maybe. I I thought I got nothing. Okay. All right, well. Looks like it restarted it. That's fucking lovely. I'm an American. The harder you knock me down, the harder I'll throw bombs at you. George Washington invented the new U station. I don't remember that part of Hamilton. Oh shit, wait, I actually did it? Alright, the XP farm is officially alive. I think I'm just gonna kill the first enemies because there's like... 10 people that show up or some shit. I'll just chuck a bunch of grenades at him and then leave. All right, now that I'm level 31, I have Blood Splosion. Maybe, hopefully, that'll kind of make a little bit of a difference, I hope. Back to the Four Kings. Well, it barely helped a little, but I got one. Three more to go. Never mind, fuck this. Back to farming. I accepted the Mighty Morphin mission from Hammerlock and went to the Caustic Caverns. I incinerated the Varkid population with the power of a thousand suns, got to level 32, and went back to the Kings. This is gonna be easy now. It's all uphill from here, baby. Just like that, I easily beat the four Ghost Kings first try and made it to the Dwarven Mines. But that's when disaster struck. The dragons, the Ghost Kings, the ability to read, all of these monumental tasks paled in comparison to Ragnar. Why? Because the prettiest siren got a 20 and decided to punch him. My fists aren't a skyrocket. They don't even come close to the 50 megaton warhead in the palm of my hand. I can't show you what I had to do. It's too disgraceful. I'll get demonetized. But he's not an enemy, so uh, the run continues. I met Claptrap and talked him into letting me cross the bridge in exchange for doing a side quest. I accepted the side quest, but jokes on him, I never planned on doing it at all. Bitch. Because this side quest gives me the grog nozzle. Time to fight the warrior. Did I say I was gonna get spell grenades to regenerate grenades? I don't remember saying that. Time to fight the warrior! Almost everything in Heroes Pass resists fire, but everything is flammable if you put your mind to it. And those are the words I live by. I made it to the vault without dying, and I am now fully confident that I can beat the warrior first try. But first, it's time to avenge Frau. All right, well, turns out Jack isn't fireproof. Fucking idiot. The warrior was released and I started throwing rockets. Okay, that's not the worst damage I've ever seen. Fuck, I may as well be throwing mildly warm tennis balls at the guy. But I can kill him if I can just survive. Okay, attempt two. Okay, never mind. It was at this point I realized I was doing something horribly wrong. But I found the solution. No, the solution wasn't going back to Sanctuary and respecking my skills to take heavily reduced fire damage, which I should have remembered to do from the start. Obviously, I just need to change the soundtrack. Well, there's only one true way to end this. And just like that, I beat Borderlands 2 using only the Skyrocket.
Patron shoutouts. Very extra wide but not lengthy thanks to Chody, whose mother warned him not to swallow watermelon seeds. Well, he swallowed one anyway, and he got hit by a bus. Extra special thanks to Shedder Dude, who's been accused of using aimbot in every game he's ever played. The only one that was actually true was Elmo's Counting Journey. US Navy Squid, who was the guy that started the petition to revoke Pluto's planet status. Uh, kind of a waste of time, because space isn't real. Special thanks to Tarkus Lives, who has never been sick. The diseases fear him because of Flig Mode, who once won a marathon. He was the only one in the race, but yeah, dub's a dub. The infamous Potato. Why is he so infamous? The world may never know. You... You'd think they'd know, but yeah, they don't. Uh, he just is. Dwarvo, who was inspired by the story of Noah's Ark and decided to gather two of every animal on a boat. He got mauled by a porcupine. And McBaconator, who was the first man on the moon. It's not that impressive, because he was born there.